I'm Michael Williams and I'm the principal of Pakaranga College. Pakaranga College is located in East Auckland in New Zealand. Um, it's a fairly um, new area, growing area, so we're a big role growth. We have over 2,000 students in the school. Uh, we're co-educational, boys and girls, from year 9 to year 13. So we prepare our students for university entrance. Uh, probably 70% of our students go on to tertiary education after the secondary school experience. Um, key things about the college that we really work on is about being innovative in our teaching practice, about having a future focus to things we're doing, thinking about what we're preparing our students for in the future. Um, we think that we're different because of some of our approaches to education. Um, we have a, a very important focus on being innovative. We moved into using 3D printing um, about four years ago. We thought that was really important. The technology was quite new, but it got to a stage where it was affordable to come into schools. And it really started opening some doors for our students in terms of what they could do. Um, for me, there were probably two aspects to it. One was students were starting to use technology, which were clearly going to be common technology in the workplace in the future. And over the last four years, we've seen that taking place. Um, predictions are that over the next four to five years, it will radically change a lot of industries and how they operate as that technology becomes more sophisticated and cheaper. But more importantly, it's really opened our eyes to the students and how they learn and how they think about things and how they problem solve. That ability to, with 3D printing, to actually create it right there and then. No limitations. And it really does open up some of the students' minds to what can be achieved. Um, 3D printing is quite amazing as to what you can do. You can actually produce things with moving parts. You can do things that weren't technically possible beforehand. So part of the 3D printing is it just breaks some mindsets and takes some limitations away. Things like 3D printing enable the kids to do things, to really explore and push boundaries. So our 3D printers in the classrooms, the students are using them all the time. The, the initial um, move into 3D printing has obviously come out of the technology department through design obviously, but as staff have started seeing what's capable, um, our electronics and robotics team in class, they actually print the pieces they need. It's being used as you would in industry. I need a piece that's this shape that does this and this, oh well I'll just print one. Piece of cake. I think we will see more and more this technology being used across the curriculum. As teachers start to reframe their ideas about what could be achieved, and they'll start to get there. Um, maths, I think there could be some applications in maths, looking at um, conic sections and sections of objects and how objects put together. Um, the future for, the, for this sort of technology is 3D printing will be commonplace. We'll all have one at home. And I want a part for my car in the future, I won't go and get a part, I'll go and take the file down and get one printed for me. That's how it will change our lives quite dramatically and it will start changing our thinking about things. I believe that uh, 3D printing is a valuable tool in schools and the very first time I saw 3D, a 3D printer um, I thought that's something that would be really great to have with my students. Packerang College was one of the first schools to, to uh, introduce that technology and um, we're finding now that it is a very, very valuable tool for, uh, to uh, promote innovation and experimentation um, and the students are able to produce a, a final model or an experimental prototype throughout the process of designing. Um, we chose the UP 3D printers because they were um, one of the first on the market that was affordable and reliable. So we now have uh, seven 3D printers or seven up 3D printers and we've been very happy with uh, you know, how they performed, uh, they're very reliable. Um, I see 3D printing in the future as a very, very valuable tool. I, I really want to get my students to the stage where um, uh, the 3D printers are as familiar as um, using a computer. We're looking at um, perhaps producing animal prosthetics that we could um, go and, and take measurements and, and look at a particular uh, situation and then working with that client we can hopefully uh, produce those prosthetics. I'm working on a 3D prosthetic leg for an animal. It's exciting because you know that you're actually making a difference. 
Um, the, reason, the reason that we've chosen the UpBox as our latest um, 3D printer is that um, it, it's a bigger platform. It has special filtering and um, ventilation systems to try and ensure that none of the fumes and um, uh, perhaps volatiles uh, uh, escape into the room. My name is Nicholas Booth. I'm the head of faculty for technology at the Pakaranga College. I've been at Pakaranga College now for, tw uh, this is my 12th year here. Well, technology in the educational system, technology for me has always been um, the one subject that pulls the whole curriculum together because every aspect of the curriculum is expressed or explored through technology and with technology. My main area is product design and so I like to have every student explore something that interests them and to be able to develop designs and make objects or systems that actually inspires them. Well, 3D printing in the future, you look at the technology, the way it's coming on, in the medical profession alone, there's all sorts of applications there. The part that's on my screen is um, the top half of a finger. It's a cast, basically, yeah. And the holes you see in it is just ventilation. Um, they, they're doing prosthetics and uh, rebuilds for uh, uh, muscular facial work. Um, they, they're already developing systems that can print actual organs, although they haven't got an organ to work. In the uh, aerospace industries, there's all sorts of applications. 3D printing is, is going to revolutionise a lot of what's going on in the world at the moment. Cuts down production time, although the printing time can be long, the actual production time technically is cut down because you're not spending so much time carving and recarving and sanding and so on. Well, I, think I chose the up 3D printers because they were the first ones I saw and because the system works very, very well. It's an efficient system. From the very start, it was a very efficient system. We got good support as well. If we had any issues, I think at one point, we were having a little bit of an issue with the head. It wasn't quite clearing properly. And also, there was a small issue with um, the, 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 the moulds lifting off the plate. And they were quickly solved by the, the team adder who uh, looked for and, and developed solutions to both those problems and we've never had a problem since. And so yeah, it's been a very good system and supported us well in the work we've been doing. 3D printing is going to go bigger and wider and more and more people are going to have their own 3D printer eventually. So the, putting out the technology in schools is highly useful for students to learn about them, what they can do and to explore the capacity and the capability of that system. Uh, for their future lives. It's going to be something that's going to be in more or less everybody's home eventually.